Hi, Leo. This is your reading. Um, you can look in your birth chart and see what placements you have in Leo or see, well, and look at what house it's in to see how it's affecting you. Um, it seems like the question that you are having or maybe currently in is it's like you got what you wished for or you're about to okay now s since you have attained what you were looking for you've attained something do you help other people be able to attain that as well do you help the mundane world find this wish fulfillment, peace, balance, justice that you found. Um, you can see this indicated in this card. Um, see all these people down here. It's like they're poor, they're sad. And he's up here with these nine cups, okay? So he's got what he's wished for. And... So right now it looks like that it's like there's this decision. Do you stay and help? Now I've got the justice card. So I feel like that some of you might be picking like a cause or deciding on a cause. Like there's something that you want to do to help the world, to bring balance back into the world. Because the overall energy of the reading is the emperor. This is what you're coming at, up as. Um... This signifies energy, power, law, magnificence. He's the king of all the tarot kings, the deck, uh, the kings in the deck. So this is like a leadership position is what I'm seeing you come into. It's like you found something, got something, fulfilled something, and now you're bringing some kind of justice or balance back into the world through this leadership position. I'm going to go ahead and I'll pull some oracle um, and then I'll continue with the rest of the reading. Uh, just wanted to let you know if you want a personal reading, you can go to my link down below or you can email me and that's down below as well. Also, if you want to see more um, collective tarot readings, you can go to my TikTok. And also I have another channel that I talk about like going to other dimensions and consciousness reality philosophy, religion, psychology, stuff like that, quantum physics. If you want to check that out, the link for that's down below as well. So let me go ahead and pull some more cards for you. Okay, so the first oracle card I got is the Wolverine, which is fierceness. So I'm seeing that <coughs> you have a secret. I mean... And when I say a secret, I mean there's something that you figured out. There's something you're protecting. There's something that is important. And it's not only like it's important to you. It's important for the world, for humanity. And there is this fierceness in you of keeping it, keeping it safe, standing up for it. If it's a belief, okay? Um, but what I'm getting from this is there's going to be... People who want it or want to bring it down. Does that make sense? Bring it down. Take it from you. Bring it down. And yeah, you're like fighting for some kind of justice with this. You got your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So this is also about a balance, which we have justice here, which indicates balance. A balance between um, using like the law of attraction to attract what you want and taking the steps towards it. So this is about, you know, making, taking action. Now, one thing I want to say, because think of it this way. A lot of us think that what we were trying to accomplish something or achieve something, okay? And what I'm going to say is that the moment that you believe in it, when once you believe in it, it's like you you identify with that that purpose, that thing you want to achieve, 
that thing you want to have. It's like you identify with having it, achieving it, and then your actions just follow. They follow your belief that that is yours, that that is who you are. And so rather than thinking that, oh, I have to go get this, right? It's this is mine. So now you, your actions follow that route, 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 sorry, that route there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the next card you got is big, bold vision. Okay. So this is indicating that there is a, a vision uh, that is coming to you, an idea and inspiration, and it's really big. And you're going to question like what I, Am, am I really supposed to do this? Is this for me, right? And yes, it is. Um, one thing that will happen is that you're actually going to, when you get this, you might question, but then you're going to accept it. But not only that, there's going to be like synchronicities that start flowing into your life, directing you in this pathway. Okay, so <clears throat> I got love. This is the card of Radha and Krishna. So this represents absolute devotion. Um, and it's devotion to, you can call it God, um, source. It's your higher calling. It's what you believe in. This is like the absolute devotion. Some of you could be drawing in a partner to do this with. Um then we have emotion. This actually, you can see she's um, standing on this corpse in a boat. This actually represents being able to ride the currents of what the chaos around you, um, turbulent emotions even, but it's like being able to ride it um, because you're going to, with illusion, you, it's like you can see beyond beyond the chaos beyond this world beyond the illusion of this material world this is seeing beyond um okay so let me go ahead and i will get the fairies and the tarot and see what the details are in this message okay so the first card i got is the bright mother and she is reversed. Okay, so this can indicate basically problems with the mother archetype. Okay, so it can indicate a smothering mother that doesn't allow her kids to grow up. It can indicate someone who gives too much and doesn't allow nurturing to come in for themselves. And what I'm seeing is that you could have been working too much. Um giving too much, working too much, because there is burnout here, okay? And what I'm seeing here, though, is that this is bringing it back into balance. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is bringing in a balance in um, emotions and in um, emotions and intellect, mental abilities, it's allowing the nurturing to come in, allowing emotions. It's like not having extreme emotions, but riding the waves of emotions, allowing them come in and flow through and flow out of you um, is what I'm seeing there. So let me see what else we got. Okay, so the next one we've got is Sylvanius. Okay, and you can see she's holding this sword. This is a sword of truth. This is cutting through... A, seeing a truth about yourself that might be uncomfortable and I can see with this ace of swords in reverse where it was like you were deceiving yourself about something and what I'm getting is that you might have been someone who was a lone wolf worked did all the work by themselves um there's another one I was picking up on too um maybe it'll come to me but this Three of Pentacles came out with it. So this is basically like you learn this about yourself and then you're 
um, changing it because this is masterful. Um, the Three of Pentacles. It also does talk about collaboration. So it could be allowing others to help you. Whereas before you didn't allow others to help you. Okay, so the next card I got is the Maiden. Okay, this indicates new beginnings and new growth. So what I'm actually seeing is that you were stagnated and it could have been because of um, your emotions being um, like in upheaval. I'm also getting to that there might have been like oh, this King of Cups person in your life and it's like you're no longer sad about them or anything but i feel like um you are standing up basically it's like you're defending what you're valuing so you could have um ended some type of relationship or you could be um ending a job a relationship a job but it's like you're like seeing what you want and you're like, no, this is, this is, um, mine. You're defending something. You're defending something. It could be a person too. It could be a maiden, <laughs> um, that you are defending. But let me see what else I get here. Another thing I was going to mention, it also could be defending the naive. You could be, yeah, you could be um, getting justice, defending the naive. You could actually be like a lawyer even, um, defending someone or standing up for someone who has done wrong. Okay, if you cut somebody out of your life, if it was a person that you said no to, I see you being kind of wishy-washy about it. Like, you might question whether or not you made the right choice. But it looks like you're going to take action anyway with this Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, this Knight of Cups is in reverse. It's like, I feel like if it was a person that came into your life, like you knew that they didn't have anything to offer. Let me get some more clarifiers real quick. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I got the hanged man in reverse and the magician. So, yeah, I, what I'm seeing is that you were, if this was a person, you've been wishy-washy on them. If this is um, which direction you're going in your life, in your career, whatever, um, you may have been kind of stuck because you weren't totally committed to it. You weren't sure if that's what you wanted or not. This also is... Um, Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces energy. We've got fire, we've got water. Um, just so you know. Okay, don't get in the way of yourself. This indicates that this wishy washiness, I guess, you could um, get in your own way. Because I see that you're hearing this call, right? But you're conflicted about it. You might have um, conflict with people around you. And so it's um, distracting you, I guess, is what I would say. You might have someone who is emotionally manipulative or just manipulative in general, trying to control you. They might be leeching off of you, riding on your pack uh, like a heavy burden for you to carry. Um, and... Yeah, you're, it's like you're trying to give birth and it could cause you to give up on what you're trying to do in the world. So, um, yeah, there's just like this big decision to be completely devoted to this insight that you end up getting in the very beginning here. So, um, not to fall back into old patterns or relationships that are not nurturing to you. Cause that was a big thing too. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and I'm going to give some Oracle messages for you and for advice. Okay. Okay. Leo, these are really interesting messages because 
<clears throat> I am seeing, okay, so this it indicates partnership. It says that once you have decided to walk your path in partnership, you must put the relationship first. So looking at it, I am seeing you put a relation or a relationship or a job or something down, but it looks like that you might be partnering with someone, but be like wishy-washy about it. And it's saying, don't make a decision on it yet until you're ready to be fully devoted and committed to it. Um, and that can be with your things that you're pursuing to like your, your, vision, your job, your career, okay? Um, because you're going to have to pursue it with a lot of passion to get through your self-criticism, to be confident in what you're doing. Also, you got recycle. So you need to learn from your past mistakes. Also, this can indicate that it, you're reusing something from your past. So this could be a, a past person, or this could be a past project that you're like redoing in a way. So that's what I have for you. Again, if you um, want a personal reading, my links are below. Also, um, if you want to see more, subscribe and I will see you next time. Okay. Thanks.